we're going to look at how to find the volume of a geometric solid that has a flat base in the xy plane. So we've got four simple steps. The first step is to sketch a picture of the solid as best we can in the xy plane and drawing a typical cross section of that solid within it. We're going to find a formula to represent the area of one of those cross sections and then we will find our limits of integration, so from which x value um, does our solid begin and to which x value does it end, and then we're going to integrate our area formula from that a to b value. So the first one we're going to look at is a solid which has a base that looks like the graph of y equals 4 times the square root of sine x from x equals 0 to x equals pi. So the graph of 4 times the square root of sine x looks something like that from 0 to pi. And that's the base of our solid. Now coming out of your screen towards you, we have squares. Now my picture is not going to be perfect here, but we've got cross-sectional squares coming straight out of the screen at you all along the entire length of our curve. So little squares popping out of the board at you. All the way along. And it's a solid figure. So first thing we need to ask ourselves is what is the area of one of these square cross sections? Well the area of the square is just the side of the square squared. And so the side of each of our squares is equal to whatever y coordinate we have along our function. And our y value is 4 root sine x. So we are going to integrate 4 root sine x squared dx. And our limits of integration in this case are given to us. So we're going to integrate it from 0 to pi. So the first thing we'll do is square our 4 root sine x, which will give us 16 sine x. We can pull the 16 out if we want. So we'll have 16 times the integral from 0 to pi of sine x dx. The integral of sine x is negative cosine x. So we have 16 times negative cosine x evaluated from 0 to pi, which gives us 16 times negative cosine pi minus negative cosine of 0. The cosine of pi is negative 1, so negative negative 1 is 1. The cosine of 0 is positive 1, so we have minus negative 1, which will give us plus 1. So we end up with 16 times 2, or 32 units cubed. Since we're looking at the volume, we'll have units cubed. So that's our first example. The next one we're going to take a look at is very similar. We're going to look at the same function, 4 root sine x, except this time the cross sections that we'll have coming up out of your screen are going to be equilateral triangles, and we're still going to look on the interval from 0 to pi. So our shape will look the same. Here's our function. 4 root sine x, but instead of having squares, we'll have equilateral triangles sticking straight out of your screen at you. So hopefully you know that the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle is the side squared times root 3 divided by 4. If you don't know that formula, that's a good handy one to have memorized. So we're going to integrate once again from 0 to pi, and we can pull our root 3 over 4 out to the front times our side length, which is 4 root sine x squared dx. So again, we'll square our 4 root sine x to get 16 root sine x, or sorry, 16 sine x. We'll pull the 16 out to the front, giving us 16 root 3 over 4, or just 4 root 3, times 
times the integral from 0 to pi of sine x dx. And once again, we already know the integral from 0 to pi of sine x dx from the previous problem. When we integrated sine x, we got negative cosine x. And evaluating all of that out gave us 2. So from our previous problem, this becomes 4 root 3 times 2, or 8 root 3, once again, units cubed. So another very similar example. The next one we're going to take a look at is a little bit different. Um, this time we're just going to be looking at the function y equals sine x, which, once again, if we're looking at the region between the x-axis and one arch of sine x, that's going to be looking very similar. But we'll have to figure out our limits of integration on our own this time. So we need to figure out when does sine x equal 0. Well, sine of x equals 0 at x equals 0, and again at x equals pi. So it looks like we're going to have the same limits of integration as we did in the previous two problems. So we're going to integrate from 0 to pi the cross-sectional area. Now this time we're looking at semicircles. So we've got a semicircle in here. Now the area of a semicircle is 1 half pi times the radius squared. And we are doing these cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis again, so the thickness of each cross section will be dx. So we're going to integrate from 0 to pi, 1 half pi r squared dx. Now, the problem is we have to figure out what r is. Well, our diameter of our semicircle should be equal to our y value, which is sine x, which means that our radius should be half of that. So our radius is half of y, or 1 half sine x. So we'll plug that in. We'll end up with an integral from 0 to pi of 1 half of pi times our radius, 1 half sine x, squared dx. And now if we pull all the constants out of there, the 1 half squared is a fourth times the 1 half times the pi is a constant of pi over 8 times an integral from 0 to pi of sine squared x dx. In order to integrate sine squared x, we're going to use the power reducing formula. Sine squared x is equal to 1 half of... 1 minus cosine 2x. So now we have 1 half of 1 minus cosine 2x dx. Once again, that 1 half can come out, and we'll end up with pi over 16 times the integral of 1 minus cosine 2x. The integral of the 1 is just x, and the integral of the minus cosine 2x using a simple u substitution is minus 1 half sine of 2x. Once again, we'll go from 0 to pi. And so now we have pi over 16 times, plug in your pi, pi minus 1 half the sine of 2 pi. The sine of 2 pi is 0, so that's just pi minus 0. Minus, when we plug in 0, we get 0 minus 1 half the sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0. So we end up with pi over 16 times pi, which gives us pi squared over 16. In this problem, we were told that this paper weight we were looking at was in inches. So we will have pi squared over 16 inches cubed. Don't forget your units.